Oh, you saved me. You are my salvation. You're so happy. You're like, thank you for those jumper cables. Hello, and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I'm Brigadier. Brigadier. And this here is Frank, and I did not get the memo. It's tie dye Thursday. Oh, they're both Pennsylvania hoodies, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. You probably can't see yours. No. Yours are pretty hidden. Black on. Tie dye. Do Black. people still make tie dye? Yes. They do? Mm hmm. I, I, I feel like these mass produced ones, it's fake, right? Massachusetts? Mass produced. Mass produced ones. Oh, you know what? I never thought of that. Like, they, they don't really roll them up and no. do it, right? No. It's just like printed. It's just printed. It's just printed, yeah. Man, we live in a world of... Because it's pure white on the inside. We live in a world of smoke and mirrors. I'll tell you that Guess much. Guess who's going to be doing a lot of tie-dyeing? Who? You. When? Camp. It's Where? A, it's a camp. When? Why? It's a camp activity. Yeah, we're counting down the days till I'm at camp two days and I will be officer in charge of the... Will you be a brigadier general? Brigadier. Are those the ones who ride horses? Or is that cavalry? Um, a brigadier is a one-star general officer. I think the brigadiers back in the day used to uh, ride horses. Uh, this is in um, in, the, in the United States Armed Forces. Uh, brigadier general, one-star general in the Army, the Marines, the Air Force, and the Space Force. Space Force? What about the Coast Guard? I don't see Coast Guard and I... Always forgotten I about. don't see Navy. I, I think I think naval ranks are different. Oh. Uh, um. And uh, I just wanted to tell you that, okay? Thank you. <laughs> the rank of Brigadier General has existed since the Continental Army in 1775. And we all know what happened that year. Well, I know what happened the year after. But... Well, I mean, that's what I meant. It was um, leading up to it, right? Okay. So do you have a thing for for Brigadiers? What, what's... Why did I want to say yeah. it? Yeah. Because today is June 23rd. It is. My favorite number. And June 23rd in 1865, when I was just a little girl, um, it was the last formal surrender of c Confederate troops. And uh, the Confederate Brigadier General Waddy, 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 W-A-T-I-E, surrendered his battalion comprised of American Indians in the Oklahoma Territory. Oh, that's fun. That's cool. Yeah. That's interesting. June 23rd. I'm a brigadier. You can call me Brig or Bridge. Or Deer. <laughs> yeah, dear Bridge. Um, dear Briggy. Okay. I probably won't call you any of those things. But um, cool. Uh, yeah. World history. American history. American history is part of the world. So guess what? <laughs> <sighs> Are you feeling thirsty, guys? Because I know I am. One second. Thirsty Thursday, drink specials. You pay. Oh, for, I didn't realize it was Thursday. You pay for a venti, you get a grande. I didn't realize it was Thursday. It's National Hydration Day. Mm -hmm. That's why I was saying that. But it's funny. If I was a if I was a bar, I would be pushing that. Yeah. Just come stay hydrated on Thirsty Thursdays. But you actually shouldn't drink alcohol because that's a di the opposite. Diuretic. Diuretic. As as I believe caffeine is. Yeah. So these coffees are doing the same thing. So we're not really, we're not celebrating Hydration Day the right way. Hmm. hmm. I was thinking of the word hydration the other day. Why? It wasn't on Hydration Day. Because the, there's a word called vibration. There is. Right? And people go vibes. So why don't we say hide? Yeah, hide. Hide. Hide, vibe. So like when you get a water bottle, it's like, oh yeah, that's some good hides, man. Yeah. And I guess because the word hydration is kind of like, dr. Dr. You go straight into it. Yeah. And so you can't say vibe like, is vibe ration. Right. Hide ration. You don't say hide nah, ration. The DR are. are and so you connected. can't really say like, you know, um, van hide just, you know, it doesn't work. Like van vibes. Yeah. I don't know what you're saying. But um, yeah, so it's hydration day. Hope everyone is staying hydrated. Water is really important. People don't drink enough water. I don't know. I think we survived just fine without the water when um that's what you think years ago and and now people are never water is never far from them they are carrying water with them everywhere they go in, in cosmopolitan bustling cities people have the water bottle with them 
for fear of dehydrating from here to, you know, the next. Uh, but you're talking about the old old time people, maybe the brigadiers in 1776. Yeah, I'm talking about 1976. We didn't carry water. Yeah, we had water fountains. Not really. Yeah. You no, know, we had them, but I mean, we weren't that thirsty. I don't know what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's true. When they tell you how much water you're supposed to be drinking a day, you really have to ask yourself, like, really? Yeah. Is that, is that how humans were designed? Did they just, like, did the old cavemen just stand by the creek and drink it all day? Right. Or was- so you need water for sure, right? I just yeah, feel that the, the, that that medical advice has kind of been overblown. And I could be wrong because I didn't finish medical school. That's true. Maybe it's a uh, start it. You know, and like I didn't these finish corporations, it. probably big water. Big water is pushing it. Big water for sure, which is yeah. polluting the earth with their plastic bottles. How dare they? Bottling our water in plastic. Like yeah. um, I follow uh, behavioral, behavioral, the behavioral arts. It's a YouTube channel. Okay. And um, it's really interesting. He, he he's actually a mentalist, magician type person, or he was at least at some point, like doing shows. Yeah. But. But beyond how he gets paid, you know, in entertainment, he is a huge studier of sign um, sign language, uh, body language, yeah, and the subtleties of what people are when what you're saying as opposed to how you're acting or, yeah. or whatnot. Anyway, I was watching the other day, and um, he had on this other expert, and they talked about you know when um people say I know you're lying because your eyes, yeah, you, you're not looking in the right direction, yeah, or you're looking to the left. Here, that turns out that that was a study that was done and some i think two guys said yeah like if if you if you look left it means something if you look right if you look down if you so people went with it crazy to this day people will tell you you know stare at someone when they're talking or don't yeah and the actual men who came up with it they ended up discounting it and saying oh mm, they were lying they weren't lying you should have looked at them when they were telling their study no, they were they looking to the left they weren't lying but they but they realize that it's not people are so different yeah. some people just have shifty eyes and yeah. it doesn't mean they're lying so but that i don't th- i think it'll take a very very long time if ever for people to give that up Pe- yeah people think they know by what your eyes are doing yeah well i mean it's one of those things i think where it's like I don't. They, I doubt they gave it up fully. It was probably just like you can't rely on it. You know, like right. lie detectors can't be like admissible in court. It's like right. if you can get a combination of things. Oh well, he's sweating. His uh, he's looking left. Yeah, all these things, and so it makes you think, but you can't say for certain that right. that means they're lying. Yeah, you're right. And they talk about that um on these channels where, uh, first of all, you have to know somebody's baseline. Yeah, well, that's even for the lie detector test. Like, that's why you have to tell a bunch of truths. Yeah, you have to know the person's baseline. And then also exactly what you just said. It has to be a clumping. A a (laughs) communalation. Culmination. Culmination. Yeah, you know, you have to have a bunch of things going on. You know, if someone just blinks a couple times, you know, or stutters or sweats, like you said, you can't, you can't um, throw away the key. It has to be a whole thing. I sweat all the time. Um, yeah, so that's for that. Behavioral arts, check them out. I check do, them out. Behavioral I like that arts. channel. Um, anything else? Uh, yeah, beautiful day. Uh, a little. I think it's summer. I think we missed. What day it. is it? Well, today's the twenty third. Oh, I we think, missed it. Was it twenty first? Yeah, the twenty first was summer. So it's. I, I told you. We had, I think it's we, summer. We have a Memorial Day podcast, and it just feels like every. It feels like that's the start of summer. Yeah, I know. Like all the other, I feel like solstices, yeah, are by themselves. So right. it's like you think about it, like yeah. But yeah, the, the summer one, it's like because school get, school gets out. There's Memorial yeah. Day. Everyone goes to the beach. Yeah, and then randomly in the end of June, it's like oh, actually now it's summer. And then it was like, wait, what were we doing last? I week? know, and it's really confusing because I do think like around Fourth of July. We're hitting that peak, you know. It's it'll be the day will be the longest. Day. No, that's the twenty first. Oh, really? Yeah. The oh, tw- so we're going to go downhill from the twenty yeah. first. Yeah. I thought it was July. The start of summer is the peak, and oh, the start no. of winter is the opposite of peak. Shortest day. Yeah. So that's December. Shortest daylight. But that's December twenty first. But once, yeah, it kind of feels like yeah the middle of winter, even though it's technically the beginning huh, of winter. Interesting. It's all like a bunch of hoopla. I was noticing that I was out at 9 p.m. and it was still blue. Um, that's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> I want to move. I want to go to Alaska just for like during their always sunny time. Yeah, that's the only thing they have though. 
like for tourists yeah like that's the only benefit that they have now they have like the wilderness the wilderness is super super wild yeah super buggy yeah. super dangerous buggy. buggy there's bugs up there the bugs are so bad really what kind of bugs oh like mosquitoes or skeeters beetles i don't know what things Beaters? yeah our neighbors went to alaska and they said to get out of the just to get out of the car and like just to step out of the rv and take a picture you'll be attacked oh man it's very 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 wild well, never mind. I'm not going. You don't have to. You live in the great state of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. And it looks just like Alaska. I don't think it does. There's not as much moose. You've never been there. Uh, well, one day I will. I want to see the Northern Lights. Or is that in Antarctica? No, I think that's... Um, that's I think anywhere. You can, you can see that in like some parts of Canada, can't you? I don't know. But yeah, sure. North. North. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can see it in Massachusetts. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Um, anyway, guys, it is Thursday, um, Thirsty Thursday, Hydration Thursday, but on Thursday, we have a little something special, as we always do, you know us, and it is called Walk Through Thursday. Roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun, cause Walk Through Wednesday just begun. What is going on it is Walk Through Thursday the best time of the week. Yeah. Um, and what are we doing walk through Thursday, you might ask? We open up the Bible. Bible's open, covering Frank's dumb face. Once the Bible is open, we pick a verse. We pick a verse from the Bible. Just one. Maybe sometimes. Sometimes, it, yeah. Uh, sometimes spoke it's a little a, soon. Spoke a little sometimes soon. Sometimes it's a couple. Sometimes it might, it might be like uh, two to three. <laughs> okay. But anyway, we pick one snippet. Mm-hmm. And we talk about it. Um, you know, we you can talk about stories you know the the fall of jericho uh david and goliath you can talk about these stories from the bible or you can talk about the whole bible well who is god right what we do is we just talk about one little part because every word every letter in the bible is valuable and so we're just gonna uh put one on a pedestal today and it's gonna be exciting and you're gonna enjoy it and if you don't then you are a heretic there is a a playlist there's a playlist. If you look on our um Yeah, that's the other thing. There's page. playlists. So we have a walkthrough Thursday playlist. So and maybe we've done so many. Maybe, maybe, you know, you uh are watching this and you are you love the the walk through Thursdays. You're like, I want to walk through some Bible verses. I can't wait till next week. But I don't feel like watching Dr. Seuss. You know, because oh, we right. have our Dr. Seuss Fridays. Right. And go to the playlist and watch our walk through Thursdays. Yes. Maybe you like the one or Wednesdays. Maybe you like Dr. Seuss. But um yeah, so we have them all organized there. So check it out if you got the time. And if you like it, subscribe. Subscribe. And hit the bell because then the you'll bell. know Ding. when the next the next one comes out. Yes. Even though it's pretty routine. It's every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes. Every Wednesday, like clockwork. But the Bible. So yes, we're gonna get a verse and we're gonna walk through it sentence by sentence, line, line by, by line, line, word by, by word, word, letter by, by letter, letter, and we're just gonna mm-hmm. have fun. So, without further ado, today we are going to be reading out of the book of Exodus. 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 Exodus, which? That's the second book of the Bible. And we've never done it. We've never done a walk no. through Thursday in Exodus? No. If you go to the playlist, you will see so many. Yeah. <laughs> so, huh. so many videos. And, I, and we've never done Exodus. That shocks me. It's so shocking. I'm utterly shocked. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. So um, <clears throat> we've never done a verse f- from Exodus on Walk Through Thursday. So Exodus. And this... Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I was oh, just no, going to say, good. the verse we're going to do um, was a contestant on our Instagram polls. Okay. At one point, and it lost. Oh, poor, <laughs> poor Exodus. Um, so Exodus, I think, um, generally speaking, is one of <laughs> Moses' books... And it means exit. And so it's the exit from Egypt Mm -hmm. when Moses got the enslaved, the enslaving Israelites and they took their grand little trip looking in search for the land of milk and honey. Am I correct? Do you think they called him Mo? No, I thought, I think they call him Zis. Zis? Zis. That's pretty cool. Yeah, what's up, Zis? Hey, Zis. Sounds like Sis. Hey, Sis. Hey, Hey, Zis. Zis. Hey, Zis. Hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. I'm not sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, you are correct. Uh, if you look at the paper I gave you. I'm looking at it. Uh, chapter 15, which is what we're, where we're going to read from, is actually called Moses's 
uh, victory song. Oh, nice. Because um, they have they have passed through. Um, was it the the the, the, the de- when he parted the sea? I yeah. guess. And um, and so this is a a. Uh, song, you know how David wrote songs. They're kind of like songs. poems. Yeah, song psalm, song psalm, poem. Uh, to they're super happy and um, joyous, rejoicing, rejoicing. Okay, so we're reading, um, chat. We're reading Exodus fifteen two. So it is just one today. It's just All one right. today. Don't worry. Back to the yeah. We didn't even have to give that whole caveat. Of Back to simplicity. Well, if they look at the if they look at one. the um the old ones. Playlist. All right, so we're reading Exodus fifteen two, um, and it's a little short one. Yeah. But yeah, uh, before I start, this is just an excerpt from the victory song. Yeah. Well, the whole chapter, uh, not the whole chapter. So uh, if you see where I wrote, it's a poem that appears one through eight. Uh, for, uh, f- <laughs> Exodus fifteen one through eighteen is all the the song. Is all the song. And um, so we're just reading two. We're just reading one line out of that song. Okay. But if you want to see the whole song. Go to Moses. Go to Bible Gateway. Go to Moses.com. <laughs> no. Mo.com. All right. Um, here we go. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, I w- and I will praise him. Can you believe it lost? That lost? Yeah. What did it go up against? It went It went up against um, 2 Corinthians 1.4. Oh, well, come on, man. The, bo- the books of Paul. Paul's letters. <laughs> Hit different. Um. Okay. I like it. It's, that's a little something you can just say, whistling down the street. Yeah. I think a lot of people do say that. Yeah. I've heard. I've heard. Um. The Lord is my strength and my song. I've heard that and my salvation. Although it says that quite a few places in the Bible. But. All right. Well, let's let's walk through it. So okay. uh, let's just start with the Lord is my strength and my song. No, we'll just start with the Lord is my strength. As you can see, that I made one line out of it. <laughs> <laughs> The See, Lord is my, my strength. Bullet points. The Lord is my strength. Let's start with that. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, obviously, as Christians, we we lean on God. Yeah. For um, our trials and tribulations in life, and sometimes things get too hard. Yeah. And we, as humans, say, "I can't do it." And then we need to remember that the Lord is my strength. That's who will. That's who will allow me to overcome this. Right. Not my own. Not my human strength. It's my strength from the Lord. My faith. My and belief. It's good because it gives us um, equality, if that's the word. I'm not sure, but um, a younger person will be technically stronger than an older person. Uh, a man would technically be stronger than a woman. Yeah. Did, did you see that? That. Uh, the swimmer's not allowed to compete anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. You you talked about that before. Yeah. The um, transgender swimmer who wants to perform with females. And I'm pretty sure now if you if you go through male puberty, you can't perform. You can't com- physically compete against the girls. Yeah. So anyway, so it, it's, I'm not telling a lie. Boys are stronger than girls generally. Um, sick people, you know, handi- yeah. handicapped, whatever. So it, it can't be fair. If, yeah. You know, I can't be younger than I am. But if the Lord is all of our strength, yeah. then I, then he is giving me the strength he's giving you. Yeah. This strength. Yeah. You you can be physically weak. But if the Lord's your strength, you can never be spiritually weak. You right. Know? And I think that's an important thing to remember. Um. Now, this part is, uh, I don't know, the Lord is my song. Or it's just my, and my song, but I am paraphrasing as the lord is my song right because the lord is my strength and my song english lesson will be the lord is my strength the lord is my song <laughs> <laughs> um i always score very high in the verbal whenever i do like the iq you ever do online uh, iq tests and stuff yeah. like this the numbers are very very low but my verbal brings me up to i think i'm the opposite really oh yeah. well then we we we, we, can, we, we, we can together go, we, we have, can a, we have be on <laughs> I don't know what. Who wants yeah, to be a millionaire? I wouldn't say that. I would say it's just it becomes a normal IQ if you add our numbers yeah. together. Well, that is true. The Lord is my song. The reason I like it after the Lord is my strength is because um, I don't think it's any secret when we say the Lord is my strength. Yeah. Because that's what we all depend on. He's the shepherd. We're the sheep. He's strong. We're and and it's that type of relationship. The reason yeah. I like the Lord is my song is because I just feel it gives a certain. He's my joy. Yeah. He's my. He's my creativity, which I don't think is is as 
thought about yeah as yeah strength dad you or, know yeah or like um with the strength i i said you're weak physically but you're my strength right. my song it, it's for all of like i feel like the things you are capable with like I'm doing. I am doing this with my human body, and and you are rejoicing. Yes, in the Lord is right my because song. you sing when you you you're rejoicing when you're yeah, singing. It's, yeah, it's not. I need God because I'm down. It's I'm singing the song of God because I'm up. Right. So it's and they're so up at this point because they have they destroyed the Egyptian army. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I like that. Yeah. Just walking around, just imagine like singing a little song. Yeah. The Lord is my song. When you're the so Lord is my song. happy, you know, like. You just start whistling or singing, you know, because like it's escaping. Yeah. You're like David. So I happy. mean, this is before, right? This is this is the second book of the Bible, yeah. and later in the Bible, um, when David's bringing the Ark of the Covenant um, into Jerusalem, he's dancing and singing with trumpets, and it's it's that kind of exubilation. Yeah, that's a word. That's sure. I told you I don't score it, I don't score <laughs> very highly on those tests, and it's and that's what he was doing, you know, like especially for David, like. He was his strength in times of Goliath and stuff. But right. in that moment, he was his song and he was praising. Right. Okay. Um, he has become my salvation. He has become my salvation. Well, it's sort of past tense because he has become, not he yeah. will be my salvation. It's kind of like making sense because like I said, they just have, they have, um, what's that word? They're victorious, but that's yeah. not the word I was looking for. They have um, prevailed, prevailed over their attackers. Yeah. So he's become a, he saved. You know, he 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 he's become myself. I, I don't know. You want to talk about that? It just to me, it's like super. Yeah, I, I, explanatory. I, I think li- in a literal sense, it's like he actually became my salvation. But for us, it'd be different. But um, I think also, yeah, it can just be used as like it is very. You know, like when. I always bring up AA, and I don't know why. Um, In AA, part of it is having a higher power. Mm -hmm. And part of the reason is to put your faith in somewhere else. And it's freeing. Like, that's what they say. It's freeing because it's like you are not alone anymore. Right. And, and, And so there's part of, like, you know, when you find God, you know, he's always there. But when you see it for yourself, it's like. It's uh, spiritually freeing, and, and you get this weight lifted off. So yes. I think you can always say, he's become my salvation. Like, as yeah. soon as, as I've allowed that relationship to be in my frontal lobe, right? it has spiritually freed me, just yes. like the they were literally freed. Yeah, it's really, um, I'm thinking of like... become a slave in this earthly world, you know? Right. Within like the humdrum, and think of, you think of it as like a, like a sandbox, the earth, and it's like, once you understand that that's not all there is, yes. it's for you're you're out of this, um, you know, like within the box, right? If the earth right. is the box, you're think you're outside the box, like yeah, you're thinking of all of the, the you see all the other things going on, and right? It's freeing. Yeah, I can see that. Um, you can even almost make the word slave from salvation. <laughs> you know, turn this turn those letters around, turn the frown upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I think of it like a key. You know, people are always asking the key to life or whatever. Yeah. And you just think, you don't really think about it. I don't think. But like, you know, it's, I have the key now. I can, I can get yes. out. I can get in yes. depending on what, you know, what, you, what you need. Um, you know, when, even if someone helps you in real life, um, this is real life. If someone helps you in your daily life, <laughs> and, uh, you know, say you're looking for something or you need something like you need whatever jumper cables or something. Yeah. Someone says, I have some. You're like, oh, you saved me. You are my salvation. You're so happy. You're like, thank you for those jumper cables. You know, yeah. you, you, that feeling. And that's a very tiny way of, yeah. of what you would feel. God, when you find out that God's your salvation or that there is a salvation yes. at all for you, you're yes. like, what? Yeah. What? What? <laughs> and especially yeah, in this context where it was like, imagine how uh, like not feasible salvation is yeah you know for these israelites who were in prison for a lot of years right you know and uh it, it was like we're we're free like right he saved us no matter what i mean because we did the book of paul where he um the verse i don't know if it was last week or what but remember he said like they felt they were going to die and then yes. they had to lean on someone else yes and in that we talked about 
even when you find out that God is your salvation, maybe you won't defeat the army that time or you won't part the sea. Yeah. But you were, it doesn't, that doesn't that matter. That doesn't matter yeah. because you're, you're already saved. Um, he is my God. Do you want to say anything about that? I mean, you have it written down here and it's a single bullet point. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the secrets. Um, I like it because you're able, you're, you, you, you are affiliating yourself yeah. with God. You, you, you are, you know, people when you're so proud yeah. and you say, that's my son, you know, or that's my, mm. you know, I live in that neighborhood. People love pencil. That's my state. You know, it's my team. It's my country. Yeah, it's my country. Yeah. It's like, he is my God. That's like, my you're, boy. you're That's so my boy. happy to be associated. Yeah. Yeah. And definitely, I, I think there's a certain confidence in it. Um, he is my, yeah, it's, it's very matter of fact. Uh, nobody's swaying you. No. I don't know who your God is, but that's my proud God. Proud to say it. Proud, proud to sing proud it. Proud to say this, it. This is a song. So. Proud, proud. And finally, last but not least, I will praise him. So, English over here english over here <laughs> as i said he has become my salvation was past tense yeah and i will praise him is future tense and i think that's important because when we're feeling good and joyful and and singing and yay you know you, f you got the jumper cables yeah. you're gonna you're not stuck in the traffic um but will you praise him once this once this honeymoon wears off once yeah. the joy wears off yeah and yeah, definitely. And there's also like all of this is like what God does for them, right? Like, yeah, he saved me. He is my strength. Oh, right. And this is, and I'm going to praise him. Like, right. like it's not just, oh, yeah, wow, you God, God's right. been good to me. It's like, yeah, and I'm going to praise him. Like, I'm going to tell people. This is all he did for me. Yes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to praise him. And, and really, like, that's all, that's all needed. Obviously, you're not going to be like the strength for God, but it's like, right. what you can do is, is praise him. Right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to um, it kind it kind of runs through it, right? It's like stating the facts. Yeah, he's my strength in my song. Said what just happened. He's he's become my salvation, claiming affiliation, and then saying what I'm going to do forward. Yeah, and, and also like I, I, I kind of put you know he is my God and I will praise him mm -hmm. um, together because it's almost like that's a certain like already is praising like he is my God and, and right. I will continue I will continue saying right. he is my God right with through everything uh like basically yeah, it's kind of summing up everything you said it's and i'll i'll keep going and saying all these things right I'll, I'll i will continue to say he's my strength i'll continue to have him be my song continue to uh yeah even you know the because the, the background of that story of moses was um they were looking to the looking forward to the future conquest of canaan so there was still work to be done there was yes. still obstacles to overcome as there always are um so it's going forward with confidence going forward with positive yeah um feelings and um comfort yeah but that's it a little short one but we got a lot out of it well, that's the whole point of walk through thursday now isn't it it is but um yeah uh, another good verse i'm surprised hopefully maybe in the thursdays to come we'll see more of exodus because i'm sure there's some good stuff in there Oh, I thought you meant the polls on Instagram. Oh. You meant walkthroughs. Walkthroughs. Yeah, there. I, you know, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what, because I think it's a big book too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, we'll, we'll get around to it. Until then, follow the Instagram. Um, you, If you like Walkthrough Thursday, you'll love what we're doing on Instagram. Every single day we have a poll up, um, put in books of the Bible against each other, using single verses just like we do today. And um, you can just go over there at Crook and Crow and vote. It's It's fun. It's just a little daily reading of Bible verses, but then it's a little interactive. You can choose which one means something more to you on that given day. But that's all the time we have. We need to go uh, get hydrated because apparently we're drinking strictly diuretics. <laughs> so we'll be back tomorrow for Dr. Seuss Friday. Oh, man, that's that's a playlist you want to check out. Until then, um, be good. Don't talk back to your parents. Peace.